Hi, I'm Zach Lovett, and this is the basic tutorial for Flex, a new script by myself and Vincent Raineri, all about creating flexible layouts for your layers. Flex works in two modes. There's line mode, which is all about single rows or columns of shifting layers, and grid mode, which is all about connecting multiple rows and columns together. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to look at a really simple example of how to use Flex. To create a line rig, you want to make sure you have the line tab activated in Flex. You're going to select your layers and press rig line. What this is going to do is rig up all of your layers in either a vertical or horizontal line, according to this switch right here. And once you've got that done, you can go into any of your layers, look at the flex effect, and change this weight property. This weight property is going to scale up or down your layer and shift all your other layers appropriately to accommodate. You'll notice that right now, we're just doing this in the context of the composition bounds. Well, let's say we've got another layer that we want the layers to fit in instead. To do that, we can go to our line control null, go to our container layer, and choose that container layer. Now, all of our scaling is going to happen within the bounds of this layer. Scale up and down, it's just happening in there. Now, there's a lot more you can do with a flex line rig. For a full overview on all of this, check out the advanced tutorials. To make a grid rig, you want to open the grid tab of flex and select your layers and press either rig row or rig column, depending on what you're after. So in this case, I'm going to take these two layers and make a row out of them. Now what this has done is made these two shape layers and a controller and some effects on the layers. But they've set up this relationship so that by moving these controllers, our layers are now going to stick to this top and this bottom so that we can just move these wherever we want. And they're always going to be attached to them. This isn't the most interesting on its own, so I'm just going to go ahead really quickly and rig up the rest of these shapes. So now everything is rigged up. And if we take these controllers, I'm just going to take a random few and move them around, the grid is behaving as we would expect. If you watch the advanced tutorial, we're going to go over how you can do a lot more with these, including matting out your pre-comps, changing how the art scales and six the sides, and generally how to use this in situations that aren't just flat shape layers. Before that though, let's just look at a few of the controls we have here. So we have all these shape layers, and those are just to move them around. We have our null, which really only has one control at this point, a gutter, which just scales down each of the shapes within its frame. And then on each of our cells, or each of our shapes, we do have a grid effect. Change it flex mode, we'll look at that shortly. And the boundaries. These selections here are telling flex what layers to use for the left, bottom, top, and right. That's it for the brief overview of flex grids. So this was just a quick look at the basic flex features. For a more advanced, more complete overview, check out the advanced tutorial where we get into all sorts of fun things. Thanks for watching.